Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back for this uh, lovely Thursday we got going on. How's everybody doing? All right, good to see everybody. Welcome back. Perfect. All right. So, everybody, uh, we're almost at the end of the week. We've just finished up phase three. Great lesson yesterday. We learned a lot about shakes. We learned a lot about level three. So if you were a student, just make sure if you were not able to make it, it was recorded. It was great. Uh, other than that, uh, we got a lot of stuff that's going on. Um, got a lot of events that are coming up this week also. We have, oops, got the wrong PowerPoint up there. Let me just bring that up there. There we go. So we got a big a lot of events today. Today we're having an open house. Uh, so February 7th at 12 o'clock, which is today. Uh, we're going to be doing and uh, doing our weekly event, bringing in some new traders, teach them a little bit about level three. Also going to be on my old friend, uh, Steve Bigelow, going to be on his event tonight at 8 p.m. So hopefully you get to see you guys there. And don't forget, also February 19th, we have the Cyber Expo and we get some of the great presenters from all over the world to come out and you know, do our expo here at CTU, and then I'll be on Trader's Corner on February 26th. So, always like to tell you the good stuff that are going on, but obviously we know why we're all here. And that is for the uh, seeing what's going on for this morning. John says I'm coming a little scratchy. Hold on one second. Let me just make sure that works. Testing? Testing. Okay. Okay. All right, how about that? Is that a little bit better? Looks like I was come probably a little too loud. A little, a little better? Good now? All right, perfect. All right, so um, we got this one stock here that's moving pretty nice. And uh, But before we do that, I just want to go over some of the stocks that we did trade last um, of the week and as of yesterday because we had a couple of good movers yesterday. I want to start off with the MGNX. And you could see here, let me just change the time frame so we could just see, we could see a little bit further like the day before. All right, so this stock had a great, great opening pre-market. That stock ran from 21 all the way to $32. Uh, I think Kent Dahl made about 3000 3, on that trade. Good for him. That was a great little run for, and I know a couple others did pretty well on that. A little bit on the advanced side, more than, than some of us could really afford. But uh, you had to be one of our level four traders. But that one was a really nice little moving stock. Snap was another one. That one was all over the news. Uh, but sure enough, uh, it was a good pre-market trade. But after that, it kind of kind of died a little bit. And then the uh, one stock that was just great was Arlo. Arlo, uh, you know, unfortunately, some of us were able to get it because it was on somebody's short list. Uh, it wasn't hard to borrow on TradeStation, but um, but I heard that some of us were having some issues depending if you had other brokerage accounts uh, that they didn't ha let you borrow it. But that was, was probably the best trade of the day. I mean the 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 MN the MGNX was was good, but it was just a fast moving stock, and you all know that it's kind of hard to trade a stock like that that's moving that much and that quickly. But uh, but this one was just like taking candy from a little kid. I mean this thing was just a screaming short in pre market, and then you could see even when it opened up at 9:30, it just ran from 4:40 all the way down to about 3:80. So uh, it was just a very easy fun stock to trade. So congratulations to everyone. How low can Arlo go, Mark saying? Could, well, we all know that answer. It's called zero. It could happen. Listen, when you break all-time lows, it's like breaking all-time highs. We saw what happened with Crohn's. We were trading, you know, when I told you stock was at 1450, broke all-time highs. Where did it go in less than a week? 25. So um, it's part of the game. And, you know, Mark, you know, I know you being here, new here. Uh, just starting out, and I know that we have a lot of new people here, uh, veterans and newbies. With experience, you'll you'll see it as we go along. Listen, when you when you when you have the experience like I have in trading back in the crash of you know 2008, and you're like, well, how much lower could Wachovia go? You know, or uh, Citibank or General Motors. I mean, General Motors went bankrupt, guys. Do you remember that? People were like, ah, General Motors impossible. Well. It could happen. You can't. You can't. You can't t oh, hold the personal them anyway. You know, Arlo's Arlo, and uh, we'll listen. It hasn't really gone anyway, but we'll put it on the watch list. You know, maybe we'll get a dead cap bounce, but as of right now, it doesn't look like it's going anywhere. So anyway, but there are a lot of uh, good moving stocks that are moving today. So I want to start off um, with ATOS. 
Uh, that one right there in pre-market, nice little cheapy stock. And not only that, look at the matrix, guys. Look at all those beautiful iceberg orders. You got 10,000 share seller at 208, which is making a nice resistance levels. Um, not a lot of, you got a 67. So listen, it just backed off, but um, at that major resistance, listen, the telltale window's right there, but a really, really nice mover up 32%, a million shares already traded in pre-market. Another one that was some of us already been trading in pre-market uh, that, that also had a nice little push already. That one went from 440 to 460. She's kind of making a lower low, but looks like she's holding here around the 480. And uh, I saw a couple of orders coming out there at that 480, but you got that big seller sitting out there for 8,000 smack at five at five dollars and five cents which kind of explains why it's having a tough time breaking that resistance bci uh b-i-o-c another one here's another one up 19 percent a half a million shares already traded it's got some good volume it's got uh it's a very cheap little stock she's backing off a little bit right now after making a huge run this morning um but like i said a lot of, let's see if it holds here I see I got a, a couple of big uh, iceberg orders sitting on the bid. Let's see if they could hold it. The one that's moving the nicest that a lot of you guys are doing pretty well is in here, H-E-A-R, up 11%. Not as big as the other ones, but um, but it's got a nice little push. Some of you guys jumped in at 8 o'clock this morning and ran from 1460, went to 1820. Yeah, listen, money's money. 200,000 shares already traded. SLDB, another one right here. Down 73%. Now, let me just tell you something. I actually bought this stock at six oh uh, at six uh, six fifteen. I got out of it. I took a loss on it because um, it ran to six thirty. Looked like it was going to go higher, but then it didn't. And then it just backed off. And good thing I got out of it. I took like a five cent loss on it, and look where it is right now, uh, breaking lower lows. Now, what do we know about this stock right here? Pharmaceutical stocks, guys. What do we know about pharmaceutical stocks? They don't come back. All right. 73%. Talking about haircut. So listen, for all those people out there that think like, um, oh, you know, it's I don't trade stocks at five dollars or ten dollars. I only trade twenty, thirty, fifty dollar stocks. Yeah, how's this working out for you? Right? Could you imagine waking up one morning at, at and, and let me tell you something. This is such a great example. What did we what did we learn in class that I teach you all day, uh, day long? And I, and I talk about this in all my events. You want to be a good swing trader. You want to be a good options trader. You damn well better learn how to day trade first because it's what happens over the course of the day, which trickles down to a swing trade. And if you look at, over the course of the day, you know, on the long-term chart, you see the writing on the wall, stocks breaking lower lows, stocks breaking lower lows, stocks breaking lower lows, just breaking lower lows. And you're like, ah, maybe it'll come back tomorrow. Maybe it'll come back tomorrow. Maybe it'll come back tomorrow. Yeah, and no problem. What do you do now when you wake up and you should have got out, you know, two, three days ago, but you didn't want to take, you know, a, a dollar or two dollar loss. Now you're down, I don't know, 20 points. How is that working out for you? So, you know, that's why you, you got to learn. Remember my motto, no overnights. Okay. Next, USAT, another one that's moving pretty nice. Uh, this one's breaking lower lows. Another nice little short right here. I don't know if it's on your short list, but uh, the stock does got some support levels coming up right around. You could see right around here. Um, you got a 17,000 share seller at three, 380. So you think you found the bottom? Let's see if that guy gets done first. LCI. Another one that's moving this morning. Got a nice little push right here up 17%. Um, not expensive stock. I don't know. I'm just... You know, had had some really good news after hours, but it's really not pushing as much as I would like. But you could see on the time and sales, green, 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 green. How many orders are going off at ten at, at ten dollars? So, you know, listen, buy uh, you know, you buy when it's green, you sell when it's red. 
so far it looks pretty strong uh, going into this open, but let's see if it breaks higher highs. This one right here, you know, STAI, you know, the only thing about this one, it's it's a little bit out of our price range. You know, I'm not a big fan trading $60 stocks, but we do got some advanced traders. We do have our level five traders here that, you know, make, you know, 1000 2500 a day. This is probably up your alley. Stock already went from 61 already 64 It's got a nice little push, but you got to be a level five trader. Um, what's killing me right now did you guys see the grub trade grub tanked just tanked news came out ran from 83 down to 72 all right how's that working out for you from 140 you know so anyway how much lower could it go you know what if it holds a support level right around here you know maybe that's where it'd be but you know overall look at the iceberg orders look at the matrix there's literally no institutions no high frequency trades out there <laughs> you want to play with fire there you go Arlo we already know about don't really know see if it's going anywhere but uh, I don't know anyone here have an Arlo system I did and I returned it back at Costco I didn't like it all right anything I'm missing I did not call out Steve said he made 65 cents on a short on SLDB let's give him a nice round of applause actually it will give him a cash register it's always nice to start. It's always nice to start with a nice little winner like that when the market before the market opens up. Always way to start the day. No car crash. Oh, that that's grub right there. <laughs> we'll play that one for a grub. All right, everybody. So you got the watch list now. Remember, everybody. Um, listen. We've got a lot of events coming on today and going on at the end of the week. So, you know, we always uh, we only work about an hour a day. So definitely come out there and help promote CTU. And uh, let's see if we can recruit, you know, tell everyone a little bit why trading is so important. And, you know, let them know why they uh, – I know as much as, as much as people want to do, it doesn't mean they should. So uh, let me go out there. Let's make a case for it. And let's kind of show them what it's all about. In the meantime, hopefully all you new trial members are here. are enjoying yourself. I know, I know a lot of you guys got appointments with me, so look forward to talking to all of you. And remember, listen, don't take it in a wrong way. I'll be totally honest with you. Trading's not for everybody. So if I feel it's not for you, I'll just tell you point blank. Uh, I, I hate to see people coming into this business and they, uh, they, they, they see other people making money and they go out there and they, they want to do it. And uh, But listen, if you've got money to lose, it's not for you. All right. So we'll we'll definitely talk about that and uh, we'll go from there. We'll let you know if you uh, if you really qualify to be part of the team. All right. Otherwise, just trying to you know save yourself and not blowing up your account. Hate when I see that. Good luck, everyone. See you back at two thirty for the afternoon meeting.